In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for chromium and then also the Cr2 plus and Cr3 plus ions. So chromium is important. It's an exception to the rules that we follow to write electron configuration. So it's really one that you should know. Let's start by writing the electron configuration from chromium on the periodic table. Chromium has an atomic number of 24. That means it has 24 protons. Since it's neutral, it'll have 24 electrons. To write the electron configuration for chromium, we'll use this periodic table here broken up into these orbital blocks. You can also use this chart here. There's a link in the description on how to do that. This is probably better. It helps explain how the periodic table is organized in relationship to these configurations. So let's start with 1s. And s can hold up to 2, 1s1, 1s2. And then we go to the 2s2. Next is 2p. P can hold up to 6, so we put our 6 there, 3s2, 3p6, then we come to 4s2, and right now we've used a total of 20 electrons. We have 24, so the next up is the 3d, and d can hold up to 10, but we already have 20, so we only need 4 more, so we'll just put 4 in the d orbital here. One thing to note is when we have electron configurations, once we get up into these transition metals, the 4s, that's typically written after the 3d. And that's because the 4s is going to be the first ones removed when it forms ions. So here we have the electron configuration for chromium that you'd end up with if you follow the general rules. But we said chromium's an exception. And to understand why it's an exception, we need to look at the individual electrons in their orbitals. So we can see here that as we get out towards the end of this configuration, we have our 4s2, and then we have 3d4, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, broken up like this. So a rule we can follow here is that half-filled or completely filled d orbitals are more stable than those that have one electron less. So here we have almost half-filled. If we could put one more in here, this would be half-full. That would be very stable. To do that, we can take one electron here from the 4s and move it over. So now this 3d, it's half full. That's very stable. So now we have 4s1 and 3d5. So this is the electron configuration for Cr, for chromium. We can also write this in a condensed notation. We'd write the noble gas argon, put it in brackets, and then we do 3d5 4s1. So this is Cr, chromium. If we wanted to do Cr2+, plus, we just remove two electrons. So let's remove this one. Often you'll see a zero written there when you remove it. And let's take one from the 3d5, which becomes 3d4. That's chromium 2+. Plus. If we wanted chromium 3+, plus, we would take one more from the d orbital here. And that's the electron configuration for chromium 3+. plus. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for Cr, chromium, and Cr2+, plus, and Cr3+. Plus. Thanks for watching.